और गैस यू वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन इफ यू आर समन न्यू टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज निकलेश एंड आई लिव हियर इन बर्लिन सो टूडे वी आर हियर टू टॉक अबाउट मास्टर्स इन मैथमेटिक्स इफ यू आर समन हु इज करंटली स्टार्टिंग योर बैचलर्स इन प्योर मैथमेटिक्स और एक्चुअरल यू नो मैथमेटिक्स और इंडस्ट्रियल मैथमेटिक्स और इफ यू आर समन हु इज करंटली स्टार्टिंग फिजिक्स समन हु इज करंटली स्टार्टिंग डेटा साइंस और कंप्यूटर साइंस सो दीज आर द स्ट्रीम्स वेयर यू नो यू कैन कम फ्राम एंड अप्लाई फॉर मास्टर्स इन mathematics i have also seen lately at least in last two years time all the math- mathematics programs here in germany are somewhat going towards data science or industrial mathematics so now that you know data is so big topic data analytics or data science um, maths is the foundation for everything so if you're someone who is interested into these areas uh, please continue watching i'm here to talk to you about uh, what universities are there what courses they are offering what uh, specializations you can do and what kind of jobs you can end up and what kind of salary you will get when you go out uh, when you come here for masters and then post completion of your masters uh, the salary and the jobs what you get offered here so continue watching from here on so before we begin there is a google form in the description of this video you can jump onto that and fill in your details we'll stay in touch we'll see what best we can do for you when it comes to helping you with the admission or the visa support whether it's this year 2022 or for next year 2023 if some of you are interested to have this presentation i'll uh, give it in the description or i'll send it uh, over to you via email once you have filled out a google form if you are interested to talk to me personally and talk about your profile people also you know very often book personal appointment with me so you can click it right here and it will take you directly onto that uh, website where you can book the appointment i've been doing this long enough now for a little over 4 or 5 years now and i've seen thousands of students and and i'm happy to tell you that i've been part of their success story and exactly by doing that mentorship was actually born uh, i learned a lot on the ground here that what are the do's and don'ts and uh, that's how i've designed my 12 months of program you can easily become part of it by enrolling it by clicking on the link on the screen or in the description i'm going to drop a link there this mentorship basically starts helping you while you're in india and it only stops here in germany when you're on a part time job so that's how the whole chapters are designed some of the highlights are already mentioned on the screen right here but then this is just like the tip of the iceberg it goes really really deep so 3 years or 4 years of degree what about ects so if you're someone who's new to this term ects basically has nothing to do with the grades what you have acquired ects comes out of the number of subjects what you have studied how much credits were given individually to those subjects how many hours have you spent sitting in a classroom to learn those subjects how many hours have you spent doing self study of those subjects this is a very important to- topic especially for a lot of professors when they're selecting a student because a lot of times you may be st- you may have studied a 3 year degree but then you don't accumulate total of 180 credits which is the minimum requirement however when you will start your research when you start making your list of universities you will notice one thing that here in germany universities are asking for at least 180 credit points that means you, when you have done three year degree you have acquired 180 credit points if you have a four year degree well very good then but if you're someone who is doing a bsc degree you can still apply for the courses here in mathematics so to begin with if you're someone who is currently studying let's say in x university okay and you want to know whether your university or the course what you're studying in that university in your bachelor's is that recognized or not as per german database which is called as anabin basically in a nutshell anabin's job is to is to see the equivalence of your bachelor's what you studied bachelor's in mechanical in india let's say for example to bachelor's here in germany in mechanical and what you have to see is your university has something called as h plus so i'll quickly show you how you can check your university whether it's approved by anabin or not just go on google and type anabin.de when you're here go to the first link right here and go to institution okay go to search let me just switch this for you in english oh my selection i think it's there from previously so it's selected india in your case you have to 
open country selection and just press i and it will show india or list of countries with i confirm place where in india let's say i want to check mumbai i'm going to go and type m and then say uh mumbai maharashtra so this is where you will see amity university mumbai uh, it's a private university and it's h plus that means it's approved and likewise you have to go and look for your university you can change the city name to something else wherever you come from you know and then uh let's say mangalore you can see it right here okay so for example this university it's h minus now that this university is h minus this whoever is studying in this university will have to go through an extra process of validating their degree and a university from anabin and there is a altogether different process which i don't want to get into right now but yes make sure that your university is h plus list of documents what you need to apply in a university which is uh, right here nine things uh, primarily bachelor's degree transcripts for all eight semesters consolidated mark sheets or if you're someone who is currently in eighth semester then provisional degree you need sop let's say you are applying for 10 different universities then you need 10 different sops uh, designed you need three at least three uh, letter of recommendations ielts 6.5 overall and you need to give academic ielts not general ielts there are two types that's why work experience letter if you have any internship or eca stands for extra curricular activity uh if you have published some academic papers a uh, cv in europass format a uh, course module book course module book is uh, basically your entire mechanical engineering uh, you know in a pdf format what was the course content what you were taught which you can get it from your administration so these are the nine documents which are the basis of application so there are two intakes in germany one is in summer one is in winter summer starts in april the deadline is 15th of jan normally the application actually begins in by november december onwards for winter it starts in october the deadline is may uh, 15 sometimes the deadlines can also go till june 15th so in germany uh, the application is done via three ways via university portal via my assist or combination of first and second now how do you know that which way a university is willing to take your application well you'll have to check on the course website now talking if you've seen about- me talking about german gpa so this is what the breakdown of german gpa is so one is the highest you can score here in this country four is bare minimum like just pass anything beyond four is fail now many of you would already have your grades into either cgpa or sgpa or percentage how can you calculate that from that grading system to german gpa i have i have this link right here uh which i'm going to click now and it will take us directly onto the website of technical university munich we're going to convert the grades let's say the highest what uh, high cgpa one can get is 10 uh the bare minimum required to pass the degree is 5 and you got let's say 7.2 that's your german gpa right here you know 2.6 is something what you have got if yours would be let's say 8 then it's 2.2 so this is how you calculate grades so moving forward from here on all right now that you have seen that there are so many colleges how do you keep track of them there is a there has to be a structure to it So in Nikshala in our company we follow certain way of doing things which has been the most efficient what i've seen over the course of time you're on google make sure that you go ahead and make this on google sheet right here now that you're here uh, first of all go ahead and change the name of the file university so this is a kind of structure what i personally uh, would like to have when it comes to you know shortlisting of the university it starts with serial number right here then it goes on to university and uh, under university there is two types one is the university name and the type of university so if it's tu then you write tu right here okay uh and then there is a course uh what course is this 
So, you know, in this case, it's computational engineering. You can see that how many semesters the program is off. What is the deadline? Does it require you to have German or not? Does it require you to have IELTS or not? Uh, what is the prerequisite? Have they given any bachelor's requirement what they need? What GPA, what German GPA does it require? Like, for example, 2.5 first class with distinction ECTS requirement if it's 210 or 180. If it requires SOP or not, if it's yes, then just type yes. LOR, then how many LORs? If you have given test AS or GRE, what has been your score here? Mode of application, is it via UniAssist or is it via direct portal, you know? Then the, the course website, as you can see, it's right here. It's displaying out. And if you have any email ID of the course coordinator. This is the typical format I like to follow here. It has proven to be very successful for last so many years. I've used this format with different students. Universities for Masters in Mathematics. I have embedded a link right here. You can have this presentation. I'm going to put this in the description of this video. So when you press link here, this is where you land. In total, there are a total of 53 courses I have found. In my introduction, as I said, there's a lot of data sciences uh, data science courses are available now, uh, bioinformatics. So there's a lot of computer science touch what it has overall. So there are a lot of courses which are focused heavily on the pure mathematics side as well. I have also met students who have come from CS background or BCA background, uh, pure mathematics background. So you can hop onto this link and make one list for yourself. So when it comes to specializations in mathematics, I've put out some subjects right here where I've uh, seen students graduating from. People go really deep into algebra analysis, uh, numerical analysis, optimization, uh, cryptography, mathematical logic and discrete mathematics, analysis, numerics and approximation theory, data analysis and data management and programming, key competencies and language training. So these are core subjects where you can actually go really deep. My suggestion would be that please from second semester of your master's, start going really deep into the topic rather than waiting all the way till third or fourth semester of your master's because by the time you graduate when you are looking for a full-time job after this master's people need to know what is your subject matter expertise i remember when i was a student you know i took some time actually to figure out the topic of my thesis because it's very important that you pick up a topic of something which you're really passionate about not just because you have to give a thesis that's why you're doing it because most employers will only employ you because of that sometimes talking about jobs and salary or phd i met a student i think about six months back he's pursuing his master's uh, in mathematics from tu kaiserslautern and i sat down with him and did a video together and then after the video was done and i asked him like what is your actual plan and he said i want to do phd and then I said, after that, and then he said, I want to do postdoc. I'm like, wow. Okay. So he has an interest in academics. So I've seen a lot of students going for a PhD as well. Otherwise, if you are someone who just wants to graduate from mathematics and look for a job, then there is a link I've embedded. Go onto that link. It will tell you what kind of salary you can expect and what kind of job roles you'll, you'll get to see. So let's click here. I'm on gehal.de. This is a website. Um, already I've put like Mathematica um it's a very german website you can use google chrome to translate this website so if you see on the right hand side there is a position what's written there's a city where they're located and when the job was posted and what kind of salary they're getting per month so if you look at the salary range it's pretty good like five thousand euros a month is like oh my goodness you can also change this to per year actually so you know this is the average salary what you can expect when you graduate as a mathematics masters so this is per month which is four thousand euros on an average and then per year let's just check in munich if i was to work in munich how much will i get paid um so per month is four thousand nine hundred euros almost five thousand euros per month which is a very very good salary do check this website out by yourself and then you'll you know you can of course remove this and you can put any topic of your choice and then you, you get to see the salary here we are on the last slide if you want to get enrolled for the program you can just click right here uh, as i said you can have this pdf for yourself and uh, yeah get in touch with us we'll be happy to help you out so yeah 
if you have made it till here thank you so much for tuning in now that you have the list of colleges and all the required documents go ahead and apply whether or not you want our help but make sure that you're tight on your timeline uh because that's where a lot of people make mistake so having said that thank you so much and uh, if you like this video please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and i'm going to see you guys next time bye bye